Hi, I'm going to make and deploy a very simple zero knowledge proof contract and make a simple front end to interact with it. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to want the Circon circuit compiler. It says start here, so let's start here. It uses Rust, so if you haven't got Rust installed, you're going to have to run that. So then you want to install Circon. To install Circom, install from our sources. Okay, so git clone and then run this cargo build. There you go. Circom help. Uh, the basic usage is Circom flags options input file. So next we're going to want to write a circuit. What is a zero knowledge proof? Say, for example, I wanted to prove I had knowledge of something, but I didn't want to reveal my working out or any other information except for the answer. Circom uh, lets you compile a cryptographic proof that you are able to come to an answer. Next, we need uh, snark.js. So this package contains code to generate and validate zero knowledge proofs from artifacts produced by Circom. So install this package and then we are ready to write our first circuit. Here we've got an example and here you've got two inputs, A and B, uh, which will be private and then you define the constraint such that the given inputs A and B equals the public output. So I will just use this example circuit. So next we are going to want to compile. The big thing to get used to with writing circuits is that if you are going to use the input signals, um, operations have to be of a linear nature. To get nonlinear behavior, you have to route it through another circuit. And you have to create instances of all the required circuits, such that the compiler can create a single uh, pathway through your circuit. So all the documentation for the language is on this site. Uh, you just sit down and read for it. So let us compile this circuit product. No main specified in the product structure. Okay, so you need to specify the main like in a C file. Uh, in this declaration, you can also declare whether or not the signals are public. So there we go, we've compiled that. That has generated this file and the WebAssembly file, which is in the JS. Okay, so next up, we are going to compute the witness. What is a witness? The witness is your working out that you're going to cryptographically obscure. So um, you're going to send the input signal of 3 and 11 and your public output signal will be 33. Let's compute the witness is telling us to create an input file. We'll contain our input signals. Okay, so node generate witness, the WebAssembly file, the input and this is the output file. Okay, so now we have the witness file. The type of zero knowledge we are talking about in regard to Circom is something called SNARK. And SNARK stands for Zero Knowledge Sussistent Non-Interactive Argument of Knowledge. Yeah, anyway. One thing to bear in mind about zero knowledge proof snarks is that they require a trusted setup. 
that means that if you are using the zero knowledge proof you have to have trust in whoever created it because there is some data produced that links the private key used to create it with the proof uh, one way around that is in the powers of tau ceremony which is how the uh, proof and keys are created uh, there is the ability to have multiple people contribute to uh, the generation of the the key and the uh, the proof if you go on the snark js website they've got some pals of tau files that already have uh, contributions so just run these commands one at a time da -da 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 -da. contribute to the ceremony add some entropy as I'm a trustworthy guy I'm just going to do the ceremony myself uh, the type of snark that we are creating at the moment is groth16 and with this particular type of snark we have to do uh, an extra phase which is circuit specific there are other types of snark there's bulletproofs and there's plonk let's do these last few steps next we generate the z key file that will contain the proving and verifying keys together with all phase 2 contributions Okay, so now we can verify that um, everything's all right. And lastly, to work with a, a blockchain, we can generate a smart contract library. Okay, and here is the generated library. Now, one thing to note is you're gonna have to bring up the solidity version because it's uh, out of date and the proof is here verify the proof and we pass a somewhat daunting looking uh, bunch of arguments but those arguments can be generated with snark.js so next we are going to want to deploy um, this contract uh, using Remix, we can upload the file. Okay, so I've created a little contract which calls the verify proof function, which is in this verifier.sol. And I'm emitting an event because Ethereum won't let me return a bool. I think because the proof uses uh, a little bit of gas. So next we want to move on to a user interface. So here I've got a simple user interface that takes the input signals A and takes the input signal B. Now in order to use Snark.js in the browser, the easiest way to use it is just to Put the library in the index.html. To generate the proof we are going to need these two files as well. So the, the WebAssembly file and the final key which is this one. So these two files need to be accessible from the web front end. So I put them in my public folder so I've deployed this contract, so if I connect and then put in the values that I want to prove is a, uh, a product, so my output will be signal A times by signal B, call this function. There is one, one little oddity about the JSNARK minimized library and that is for some reason the order of these values is not the same as what's wanted by the verifier contract and you can work out what order the arguments need to be in if you just run the node example 
and compare to what you get in the browser example. I'm just restructuring the arguments. So once I've created correctly structured arguments, uh, that gets sent to the contract, wait a while, and boom. And this is the uh, returned object, and it has proved being true. And that's a simple example of a ZK snark.